that was why he said that is not my song for him to say that's not his song it's not like he had any song or he has written any song <laughs> except he has and we don't know about it but i'm sure he hasn't written any song so the fact he said that's not my song is Hello guys, my name is Amechi Victor Okeke and I want to particularly, personally and wholeheartedly welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, I'm saying a very big welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you are the MVP. Thank you for doing this with me. All right, so I need you to do something quickly. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video so that you can see more and turn on the notification bell so when next I post a video, YouTube is going to notify you that a video is up and you would have to watch it and be blessed all right so thank you let's jump right into what we have to discuss earlier before i did a video on apostle edu and the dj all right so this is me coming to say that i was wrong i was entirely wrong because i too didn't know that that song was a christian song all right so some comments on that the video i did were like ah that's limo blaze that's limo blaze i think you you didn't say the thing you didn't say it as you should you were mising your words and all of that i wasn't i honestly didn't even know that the song was a christian song i mean i i know limo blaze i follow limo blaze but not as much as some people do i mean i'm not really a hip-hop fan but that was amazing to know that that is a christian song so people say they can groove um christian songs in their wedding that's a lie i mean there are a lot of hip-hop gospel that are amazing spirit filled the lyrics are clean and the songs are beautiful the songs are defying and we can always listen to them or play them during our wedding receptions all right so i don't think apostle edu is right and he's wrong all right so why i say apostle edu is right because he said that is not my song maybe all right maybe they have they got um, some selected songs that he wanted them to play during his wedding and that was not part of the song all right so that was why he said that is not my song for him to say that's not his song it's not like he had any song or he has written any song <laughs> except he has and we don't know about it but i'm sure he hasn't written any song so the fact he said that's not my song is clear that maybe there were a list of songs he had for his wedding and that song was not part of it all right best man at the cheap price made will receive it on your behalf thank you very much why i said he's wrong was the way he addressed the dj that was why i said he's wrong and i think wherever that dj is he may not do this but i think apostle edu should look for him and apologize to him maybe he did that after the wedding who knows he should look for him and apologize to him and then um, let them settle that because i mean i think the guy was just trying <laughs> the guy was just trying to help for god's sake not like he wanted to ruin the apostle's wedding the guy was only trying to help and his effort to help was dashed into the mud that he was dashed into the mud i i can imagine how the dj was going to feel all right anyways i'm all only saying that um i didn't know that that song was a gospel song and it was sang by limo blaze um i think they said future in travis green and all of that i didn't know i didn't know that but my bad yes and i'm correcting myself however the reason why i did that video is because of the fact that some christians forget that they are christians especially when they are excited they just want to have fun they don't really uphold godly virtue when they want to have fun so the kind of throw that away they kind of forget about the fact that they are christians or we are christians and we just want to have fun we, we say things like well i just want to have fun i don't want to be rigid i just want to enjoy myself so we we, we believe that we have to keep god aside for us to enjoy ourselves all right so the bible said in psalm chapter 16 um i think verse verse 5 let me be sure so the bible says in psalm 16 verse 11 let me read it thou will show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy at thy right hand there is pleasure forevermore thou will show me the path of life you see it is only god that knows the path of life only god knows the path of life and the bible says in thy presence is fullness of joy you can't find joy anywhere else outside of the presence of god 
The Bible says in thy presence is fullness. Whatever joy you find outside is not full joy. All right. It, it can only give you joy for or happiness for, for a very few moments. The excitement, the thing you want to see outside can only give you excitement for a few moments and then it's gone. But it says at thy right hand is pleasure forevermore. In God's presence, that is where you find deepest pleasure. Pleasure that will satisfy you forevermore. All right? Pleasure that will satisfy you forevermore. So, yes, I was. I just thought I should do this video to address the video I did earlier and to apologize that I honestly didn't know that that was a Christian song. I mean, maybe because I'm not a hip-hop fan, so that was why I, I skipped that. I really didn't know that. And I also didn't um, read through all of the comments I was seeing. If I had done that, I would have seen that that was a limo or that is a limo blaze song. All right. So, like I said, the apostle was right and he was also wrong. He was right because he said that's not his song. So he was right. If he had some selected songs for his wedding, then I mean, we'll give it to him that I ah, know he's right there. That's not his song. But he should, I think he should apologize to the DJ because I mean, the guy was just helping you out in your wedding so that you both can dance. And of course, you lashed him and said, Somebody removed that guy from there. Most likely, he didn't even know that this song was gospel hip-hop. He didn't know. And maybe he didn't just want hip-hop on his wedding. Who knows? <laughs> so even if he had played another hip-hop song that they were calling Jesus, Jaira, you are enough, he would have still said that's not his song. Who knows? Maybe the guy doesn't just like hip-hop. Anyways, thank you so much for doing this with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video comment turn on the notification bell so when next i post you'll see it and you'll be part of it all right thank you so much thank you so much thank you to you so much all right thank you so much okay i'll see you next time god bless you and have an amazing life